Hi there, Christina from Speak English with Christina. And before we get into today's lesson, I want to remind you that registrations for my course Understand Real American English are open. And I'm really excited about this course because it's going to help you, as the title suggests, understand real spoken, unscripted, spontaneous American English. So all of those uh, reductions in the sounds, the when it sounds like Americans don't articulate, when they use slang expressions that you never learned in school, or when they're a little creative with the language. All of that is in the course Understand Real American English and that course is going to make it a lot easier for you to in, you know, participate in the conversations with your American friends and colleagues. So I'll put the link in the notes below and you can check that out after today's lesson, which another reminder, um, if you're subscribed to my email list, you're going to get a Friday freebie for this lesson. It's a special worksheet plus audio to help you really apply what you learn in today's lesson. All right. Let's go. Hey there, and welcome to Speak English with Christina, where you'll have fun becoming fluent in American English. When you call potential clients or suppliers and they tell you, send me the information by email, well, guess what? You have to be absolutely sure that you note their email addresses correctly. If you have one letter wrong, your brochure or quote will never arrive. And that means lost business for you. Ooh, no. So today you'll learn how to be absolutely sure that you understand when someone gives you their email address over the phone. Let's go. Sure, I can send you the information. What's your email address, please? Yeah, it's uh, freight at bimson-inc.com. Sorry, can you say that again? Uh -huh, sure, it's freight at bimson-inc.com. Freight, like F-R-A? Uh, no, it's uh, F-R-E-I-G-H-T. F-R... Sorry, what's next? Oh, dear. We're going to need some help. Telephoning in English is already pretty challenging. Trying to spell email addresses over the phone, it can be a real struggle. And if you're not sure, then you lose time going to the company website, trying to find if you noted the address correctly, sending your email, hoping that you spelled the address correctly, Geesh. Grab your pen and paper to make notes that you can keep next to your phone for this. And let's start with vowels. The vowels in English are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. And if you just learn them in that order, that can be a first helpful technique. Repeat with me. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. If you're not sure and you want to repeat back the vowels you think you understood, here's how we do it. A as in alpha, E as in echo, I as in India, O as in Oscar, and U as in uniform, and Y as in Yankee. These expressions come from the NATO phonetic alphabet and they're the standard way to specify letters in English. And I'll put a link in the show notes to a printable list of these expressions for you. Now, 
In our conversation from earlier, Geraldine could have said freight, like F R E as in echo, I as in India, to be sure that she understood the vowels. Then there are consonants that sound similar, like B, D, and P, F. S, M, and N, and others that you just may not immediately recognize, like H, K, V, and W, and consonants that are easy to confuse, like G and J. Here's how you can check that you've understood these: B, D, and P are B. As in Bravo, D as in Delta, and P as in Papa. F and S are F as in Foxtrot, or F as in Flower, and S as in Sierra, or S as in Sunday. M and N are M as in Mike, and N as in. November. For those unfamiliar consonants, it's H as in hotel, and careful of your syllable stress. It's hotel, not hotel. H as in hotel. It's K as in kilo, not kilo, but kilo. V as in Victor, and W as in whiskey, or W as in water. And for those confusing consonants like G and J, it's G as in golf and J as in Juliet. And an easy way to keep them straight in your head: think G I like G I Joe, and to think D J like you know David Guetta. Boom, 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 boom. I got a feeling. Eh, eh, that you're gonna understand email addresses. Woohoo! What on earth? In email addresses, you don't just have letters, even though letters are already a pretty good challenge, don't you think? But you also have to deal with the punctuation. Look at this email address. It's full of punctuation. When your potential client says it fast, it sounds like John underscore Ross at IEA dash LLC dot com. Not so easy to note down. So let's look at the punctuation. John. Underscore Ross at IEA dash LLC dot com. That's underscore underscore the line at the bottom, and then the little symbol is at, like the word at. Next dash. It's also called hyphen, and that's the shorter line. In the middle of the line, and then dot com. And if the dot is in the name, like John dot Ross, it's still dot. So, your potential client has given you the email address. Great, you can send your brochure to them. But first. Check that you noted everything correctly. Start by saying, "Thanks." Can I read that back to you to be sure? Thanks. Can I read that back to you to be sure? And then continue to read using the international spelling alphabet that you learned earlier, if necessary. Sure, I can send you the information. What's your email address, please? Um, it's. Freight at bimson-inc.com. 
freight at beamson-inc.com. Thanks. Can I read it back to you to be sure? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay, that's F as in Foxtrot, mm -hmm. R, E as in India. Uh, no, that's um, E as in Echo. Oh, sorry. Uh, e as in Echo, I as in Alpha. Um, no, that's I as in India. Oh. F R E I G as in golf, H as in hotel, T at beamson inkcom Is that right? That's right, yep. Yeah. Freight at beamson inkcom It still takes a little extra time, but at least you're sure you have the right email address and that the client will get your information. And that could be the start of your next big deal. Now, what about you? What's one other thing that you find difficult to do over the phone? Tell me in the comments so I can make an episode to help you. Need help understanding the American accent in comp calls and over the phone? Get my American Accent Survival Kit. It's a free comprehension and pronunciation lesson with exercises to test yourself. Just click the image below. And thanks for watching Speak English with Christina. I'll see you next time.